enjoyed this week's episode and please like this video, share with your friends and doc mates and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us get more viewers like you. We're back aboard good old Yara as we do when we don't have anything else to do. We, we will do boat work. That's what we do. When someone calls and says, hey, what are you guys doing this weekend? Boat work. When we're taking a day off or maybe like a couple days off, what are you guys doing? Boat work. When we have uh, maybe like a US holiday, everybody's got it off, what are we doing? Boat work. That's what we do. <laughs> it's a lot of boat work. But we're making a lot of progress. Let's take a in quick inventory on where we are at with the starboard side main water tank boom look how pretty she is so we've basically got any movement this way or this way figured out if the boat rolls we have our straps basically figured out right um, everything's not final yet although the base down here is final and the bulkhead supports are final um, these two are in their final position Man, focus is bad today. Let's get a little closer. But <clears throat> what we need to do today is uh, prep for those pieces to go in. And I've kind of been dreading this day because it involves grinding away at paint and fiberglass because we're gonna need to tab in these supports uh, to the hull of the boat. But that's okay. I brought a change of clothes, so I so my itchiness, and then like, I, I'll have a mask on, I'll have long sleeve shirts, long sleeve clothes, like pants. Um, I still will get itchy though. And I'll have the vacuum going. I have um, new filter and new bags for the vacuum back up there. So for the, we'll use the big, bigger shop vac for this job. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get everything set up. I'm gonna get changed and we're gonna start doing some grinding, some fiberglass grinding. It'll be fun. It's not gonna be fun. <laughs> But gotta, gotta do it, we gotta do it to do this right. We need to get down to good fiberglass so we can tab in and make things strong. So, gotta do it. All right, enough procrastinating. Let's get this going. <laughs> oh, boat work. That's what we're doing. Let's do it. Okay. No time but the present. Gotta jump in and do it. So we're grinding fiberglass today. So here's our setup for how we're gonna go about it. Long sleeves, <clears throat> gloves, long pants, um, mask, and the vacuum. Got that all changed out with a new filter and a new bag. Um, yeah, so now let's show you what we're gonna be grinding. So we're gonna use this type of grinding disc here designed for a drill. Um, the 12 volt Milwaukee line, I couldn't find a, um, like a proper grinder, like an angle grinder. I guess that kind of makes sense. They have one in the 18 volt, but not in the 12, so. Um, but the attachment here was only like 10 bucks. So, whereas if I had to buy a grinder, you know, that could be hundreds. So anyways, we'll see how this goes. It says it's designed to work with all kinds of material, including fiberglass. So we got that. So we've got our attachment on our drill. We got plenty of batteries, um, beyond just that one. And then we're grinding away basically that line to that fiberglass thickness on basically on either side probably like maybe like that and then like that 
because what's going in there are these. So these three, one, two, three, go into back up in here, like, well, kind of hard to do with one hand. But basically that sits up in there. It promised me it works. <laughs> I mean, I, I promise you it does fit in there. <laughs> I just can't get in there with one hand while filming. Um, so that's gonna go in there. And then in order to make this nice, we're tabbing it. Well, first we're gonna do some thickened epoxy around in here against the, the hole. Then we're gonna come back with our fiberglass and lay up fiberglass tabbing. That will go up in here like so. There we go, kind of like that. And then this fiberglass will lay strips up to the piece of wood down into the hole on both sides with a nice fillet, nice round edge. Um, and then that'll basically lock that in permanently. And we have three of those. One, two, three. One, two, three. So those three support this piece of wood that spans the length of the tank. So that piece of wood is gonna basically go right here down. And uh, so that way the tank won't be able to shift that way. So that's the plan. Now we just gotta grind. <laughs> I know I've been saying that multiple times now. So really, we're gonna get grinding. Let's go, let's do it. No more excuses, no more talking. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> so this took me approximately two Seinfeld episodes. <laughs> oh man. This is one of my comfort shows is Seinfeld, which I need comfort with all this grinding and sanding. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so uh, the vacuum stitch is working really well. The respirator is working really well. This thing is working as bad as good as it can. Um, I'm not, I don't love it, but I also am not sure if it's this thing or maybe it's the coating, this white coating that we put down to paint the bilge. It's pretty robust and uh, yeah, it takes a while for that thing to cut through, um, get down into good fiberglass, but anyway. That's all I have to say for right now. <laughs> Promise you guys updates as we go. So next one is here and then here. Um, what I did decide to do is uh, put like the vertical bulkhead supports in first, then lay out a piece of fiberglass and then I marked how far out I need to uh, grind. And so that, that gave me like the, the, the lines that I have to color within. And I think that worked out really good because then I could see my progress and uh, know when to stop. So um, you might consider doing something similar for yourself. All right, I'm going to mask up, Seinfeld up, get the vacuum going and keep on trucking. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> Grinding is done. Yeah. It's interesting, I went a little too far on number one. <laughs> so I don't know if you actually, yeah, this is a good example. 
see how it's lighter here and then darker here so this light weave and layup is the actual hole of the boat and then up here this is the tabbing that goes into this this structural piece here so it's interesting that they used a different resin and it even looks like they used a different uh fiberglass material mat a different mat as well so so i figured that out with this one <laughs> well actually i should probably take this down a little bit more that's a little bit of gel coat there um yeah i'll come or paint i'll come back and get that actually um but then i i over here i went too far so i actually ground out the the fiberglass that tabs in up here um but that's okay no big deal i went down to the hole to <laughs> this whole thing no big deal because i'm coming in and i'm adding more so not a big deal um but that one i could probably grind a little bit more now that i kind of i'm looking at it on camera uh this one's great so um yeah all right, but the second one I'm gonna to touch up a little bit more and then, um, yeah, probably call it a day. You know, a lot of uh, prepping, a lot of equipment, a lot of tools. In this case, a lot of time. That was one, two, three, four, six Seinfeld episodes worth of grinding. So, um, but yeah, it turned out really good. I'm gonna get this wrapped up and call it a day. But yeah, a lot of work, but you know what? It's also a yacht of love. We'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.